Hello, hello. Hope you can hear me. Welcome back. Look at this weather. Summer is here. Well, it's coming. Now this is another quick short one, so apologies if you want a long one. Yay, if you like short ones. Gust. But life recently has been manic. Kids have been off school, prepping for Rafa 40, flying Rafa 40, recovering from Rafa 40. I've just not, I've not had time to make videos. And today, I'll put this one out today, so today, uh, it's packing for the PMC boar chasers. Excitement is high. Talking of recovery, that took it out of me, really. I've got newfound respect for those people that do things like the Icarus or uh, Jean-Francois Chabot, who uh, just did like 6,000 miles or something. It's just two hour flight, land. Two hour flight, land. Two hour flight. We were shattered. We were shattered after the first day and then just on some kind of adrenaline and Red Bull driven autopilot for the second day. I have massive GoPro problems as well. Thanks GoPro. I've got whole half an hour chunks of footage where it's just a frozen frame and just the audio, so... Gust. So this is actually a little test of that for the GoPro. I'm just out on one of my favourite routes, getting some steps in. Gust. So anyway, Rafa 40 is done, thank the Lord. It was hard work, it was thermally. I thought my bump tolerance was perhaps five, six, seven before it. And now I've realized that my bump tolerance was probably two. And now it might be five, six, seven. But that was spring thermals flying right through the day. Giles said it was right at the upper level of his comfort level, so. But so far, I think we've raised like nearly two and a half grand for the RAF Association. Excuse the traffic noise, uh, which is great. So a massive thank you to all who have donated. Uh, down at the club at the end of it, when we finished, they raised another 140 odd quid just from the people in the club. So that's there to be added on. And just a quick thank you to all the sponsors. I did have a. Uh, adverts that I was trying to read out in the air for all the sponsors but with the GoPro problems I don't know if I've got any of them so thanks to Andy and Katie on the ground for sort of filling in there and mentioning everybody because the sponsors made it possible really they made it possible in some ways they made it easier in ways so massive thanks to uh, paramotortraining.com the BHPA, the British Hang Gliding and Paragliding Association, Fly Candy Pilot Wear, Parajet, Para-X, who sorted us out with all our oil, of which I used quite a lot. A big thanks to Richard at Web Forward as well for pulling like a, a little web page together to track us. The tracking worked lovely. The problem with it was uh, our mobile phones going into some sort of sleep mode to save battery when they're not used. So, towards the end of the, uh, the whole adventure, we were waking our phones up and starting and stopping the tracker every like five minutes or whatever to try and keep it updated. And thanks also to uh, Microavionics for modding our helmets. We're still trying to find the best settings, but we're a long way forward with that. I think that's all going to work nicely when it's sorted. 
and also to the RF Halton Radio Society who bumped in a load of radio stuff for us. So, Paramotor Club Boar Chasers. Paramotor Club at paramotorclub.org uh, arranged three fly-ins a year. Two boar chasers, which are held on a lovely bit of land uh, near Arlingham in Gloucestershire, right next to the river. And then a summer fly-in, which this year is at Cheltenham Racecourse. Widely regarded throughout the whole community as great fly-ins with a real friendly atmosphere. I can confirm there was a friendly atmosphere. There was always someone to set up your wing for a fluff launch. So I'm hoping this time to uh, just spend an hour on the field running around helping people. Give a little back. PMC is £30 a year to join. That gets you entrance to all three fly-ins, which is an absolute bargain. Uh, they sometimes ask for money for charity pots, which is all good. It's all run by Simon Westmore and Cole Borland who run paramotortraining.com and Simon seems to have this innate hippie ability to know when the weather's going to be good 12 months in advance I think he's got one of those uh, almanacs out of Back to the Future so I'm going to go and pack for that leave early tomorrow morning try and get down there before the roads get too crazy on a bank holiday weekend uh, if you're going to be there look forward to seeing you come and say hello get a mug but meanwhile I'll leave you with uh, the media spot from Forces News on Forces TV about the Rafa 40 it's very short I've got about 20 hours of footage to go through so there'll be a horribly long video coming at some point I think that's going to be one that sits in Premiere Pro for a while and I just chip away at meanwhile board chasers let's do it Hello, good evening. I'm Kate Chabot on tonight's British Forces News. The high flyers paramotoring their way over 40 RAF airfields and... Flying into RAF Halton with the view of the Chiltern Hills of Buckinghamshire, paramotor pilots Giles and Paul completed their aim of flying over 40 current or former RAF airfields in two days. The pair who set off from RAF Gox Hill near Hull flew through Lincolnshire, Northamptonshire, Bedfordshire and Buckinghamshire, raising money for the Royal Air Force Association. So how are you feeling, Giles? Um, relief to be on the ground. It's been two days of really, really good fun flying. Been a bit very rough, very turbulent, but uh, we've achieved RAFA 40 plus. We've hit more than 40 airfields and, um, and we've raised quite a bit of money for, for the Royal Air Force Association, which is what this is all about. So how are you feeling, Paul? Uh, cold, tired, yeah, it was a long way. 270, 280 miles. Both my parents are RAF. I never joined up myself, uh, but my dad runs the, um, the association down here. Jars is in the RAF, obviously, and that's what allowed us to land at the places we've landed at. And um, it's good to raise money for something good, isn't it? So the raising money was just an excuse, really, so that we could fly so far for so long. Three, two, one. Come on! After a successful two days flying, the pair will now take a well-deserved break. Amy Wiltshire, Forces News, Wendover.